point of this fight? Because if you say that, I'll believe you're going to do what you say you're going to do. Well, first of all, you're going to school that I keep throwing. That is not going to happen. <laughs> say. You heard that? So you can exclude Keith Thurman. That shit is not going to happen. And I don't blame him. Keith Thurman went way and beyond not giving this man a shot. He went way beyond not giving this man a shot. He actually literally just, it went, it, it's not, it can't even be, be considered ducking. It's like he intentionally just wanted to freeze this guy out he just wanted to fight between he just wanted to just just freeze this guy out and and earl's been saying no man i'm not fighting him i wouldn't fight him i would just i would just in 2022 when you move up or something like that i will hold on belts as long as i can I'll, i'll i'll hold them belts as long as i can I would make sure every year, it'd be years before he even get a title shot. It'd be years. And he probably, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let him. I wouldn't give him the opportunity. I would, I'd be, I'd be done with this motherfucker. And I know how Earl's been. I know you gotta feel. He know this guy's sneaky. He's a manipulator. He's a liar. And I, and I wouldn't waste my time fucking with him. I wouldn't waste my time fucking with this motherfucker, man. Fuck him. I would not waste my time fucking with no Keith Thurman, man. Keith Thurman is one of the biggest liars in boxing, man. He is a big liar. What are your thoughts right now sitting, you know, in such close proximity with Keith, you know, in front of us, um, knowing that this fight could be the fight that he was saying, you know, potentially a, a Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas Hearns type of fight? But, you know, um, but, I mean, this era, you, uh, Keith, could you... To the question also. I mean, my thoughts been what it's been since I was 15 and 0 when I said, you know, I'll fight Keith Thurman, anybody in the top five. I mean, like he said, he got he got to wait and get ready and, um, you know, got to go through rehab, but I'm ready when he is. And I'm always ready, so it don't matter if it's the first quarter or second quarter or if it's the next year, you know, I'm going to be ready. I'm always ready to fight the best. You know, I have a goal, I have a dream to be the undisputed welterweight champion of the world. And I'm not gonna let anybody stop me from that path. So, you know, this is the fight that I've been wanting to keep Thurman for the longest. So, I mean, you know, he's been making excuses, said, said that, you know, I haven't proved myself. I ain't winning the world title. He said he's gonna bust my bubble. So, I mean, I'm waiting to find out what, he, what he's gonna do. I will, hey, when, when Keith Thurman asked for a fight, you know what I'll tell him? I'm still trying to prove myself. There's some great welterweight sitting right up there. You're fighting a guy that's I will tell Keith Thurman, hey, buddy. I'm still trying to prove. I'm. I'm still trying to pr- prove myself. So go somewhere else. They've been calling this motherfucker out, man. Ever since I was a child, man, I had a love for nature, man. And, um, this flute right here, you know, it just sounds really natural, and that's what attracted me to it. just play man I don't really even think about it I find it really relaxing calming and you know you just gotta enjoy life why this L why why, why this wannabe elder barge motherfucker was going around um, imitating Elder Barge. The motherfuckers, Thurman was, Thurman, Thurman, he was trying to, um, he was trying to get a fight. Earl Spence was trying to get a, get a fight with this nigga. But he had no, he had no, he had no words for him, man. He had no words for him. He wanted to continue to duck. He wanted to continue to duck. Now he's not getting a title shot. And I don't blame him. I do not blame him. Been trying to fight this motherfucker since 2015. 2017. 
it's not on my to-do list. To be honest, it's not on my immediate to-do list. We ain't scared of no little boy. He can get it too. Honestly, I'm not ready. We ain't scared of no little boy. Anybody who Amir Khan's trying to talk, I can't wait to slap him up. This nigga's just a joke, man. Hey. And I, I, I don't, I don't, now look, man, I'm going to get y'all, I'm going to get this shit clear, man. I don't dislike Keith Thurman, man, but I know T- Keith Thurman is not the type of motherfucker I want to be hanging around with, man. He, he, he's a he's a liar, man. He the type of nigga that'll take something off your motherfucking dresser when you ain't looking, man, and, and put it in his pocket. And you be like, um, hey, Keith, what, what happened to my own shit? Now listen here. He'll try to start talking about everything. Remember last year when you went down there to the store in there and you asked me five dollars? Well, when you paid it back, I said, "Look, you ain't really." I said, "Man, look, I ain't talking about that shit, man. I'm talking about what happened to my shit that was on my dresser. Did you take it? Now listen, it don't got nothing to do with that. Remember when your mom was was going grocery shopping and she needed somebody to take? Who was there? Who who? I was running the corner. I was like, he, he the type of motherfucker that'll spin you, man. He'll spin all this, man." He a spin artist. He he a spin artist and a con artist, man. Earl Spence, man. Earl Spence say, fuck it. I am not fighting him. And I don't blame him, man. I, I don't want to see that fight. I do not want to see that fight, man. Keith Thurman fans, man. Hey, man. Sorry, man. He ain't getting that belt no time soon, man. Then he already lost to Manny Pacquiao. It was only a matter of time. He fight. Let him fight Ugas. Let him fight Crawford. Let him fight all these motherfuckers. He's going to fight some, he gonna have to fight some, some tough fighters. But it won't be for no belts. Call call the Herrera motherfucker in Mexico. He'll give him he'll give him a motherfucker ponytail, the ponytail belt, or some shit like that. The motherfucking flute, the WBC flute heavyweight champion, some wild shit like that. Earl said, "Fuck him."